Good morning, and it's quite a late morning really. It's, uh, it's about quarter to nine, nine o'clock, and I'm up above the famous Lady Bower. The water level is extremely, extremely low. And I come here because I want to make my way up to the sort cellar because the heather's out, it's heather season. The heather's out or coming out. Uh, I can see up on Wind Hill. It's beautiful and purple up on the top there. Really, really nice. I've got sweat pouring at my eyes because this is really steep. It's a hell of a walk. And I've just been talking to a mountain biker who parked in front of my van, which the van's down there. I can just see it as well at the end of the trees down there. Um, and he said, they cycle down this. Flipping insane. Anyway, yeah, I'm heading up to the sort cellar, basically. Oh my God, this is steep. I won't go up there. Yeah, I'm heading down to the sort cellar and uh, the idea is to to hopefully get some pictures with the sort cellar and some heather. The sun's out, there is some cloud. I don't know what the weather's going to do. It's nice at the moment, but too nice. I'm sweating. So I'm not going to do a lot of talking. I'm going to make my way up there. And when I get up to the sort cellar, I'll check in. Unless I see something really nice and interesting with the heather before and uh, stop and get you out then. See you in a bit. Here we go. So I was talking to a guy this morning who's parked in front of me, I'd say, and, and he does mountain biking. I've just seen a mountain biker come past me now, and I'm on a, a level bit now. But by God, this is steep. I would never bring my bike up here. I know I'm not a fully fledged mountain biker, but even so, no chance. No chance. I've been up to the salt cellar, but not on this track. <laughs> Who knew? The views now are opening up even more, and it's it's going a bit greyer, which I don't mind. If it turns to rubbish, it turns to rubbish. Oh, and I can see some pink up in front. It's definitely pink up on the hills there. And if you look, and really doesn't help on this camera, but all along the back, all the way coming up the top of the hill, right up to the top of Winhill, right down going Mantua Way and around the North Ridge and all around there is all pink. Looks pretty impressive, in all fairness. It looks really, really nice. Lady Bower's looking pretty sleek down there. I've just taken a couple of handheld shots as I walked up the hill. I put it on my capture clip again, so I've got it at hand. I've got a nice one of the, the reservoir leading out. And that nice yellow line where the dry, you know, dry part is acts nice as a, a sort of a visual point. And I've taken one as well this way with some heather in front of it. So the plan is to keep going up. I was lazy this morning. I set my alarm for five o'clock and quarter past five and seven o'clock. I thought, right, I'll start at five. It went off, looked out the window, couldn't really be bothered. But I'll have another 15 minutes. Went off at quarter past five, looked out the window, thought, oh, sod it. I had a big walk yesterday, I'll leave it. Alarm went off at seven o'clock and I regretted it. I looked out the window and oh my God, there was low mist blowing across the valley. The bridge was shrouded in mist and it just looked amazing. It looked stunning. And the reason I set my alarm for that is I knew that the sun takes a long time to come over this hill over Bamford so I thought oh, oh it'd be all right it'd be fine no I missed it by a good half an hour so I should have got up at six really so lesson learned don't stay in bed if you can set your alarm get up you're gonna miss something otherwise and I did I did take a couple of shots as I'm sure you've already seen while I've been talking but yeah I did miss an epic opportunity to show you something beautiful so I'm gonna carry on walking up it's about about three kilometers uh no probably further than that yeah no but it's about three miles i would have thought up here so we'll get up and i'm going to do something a bit different i'm going to go up get up to sort cellar if i can and then i'm going to come back along the reservoir and back along the bottom just a bit different never done that to that walk before so i've got it in me os so i can find the path so let's get going see what we can find heather that's what we want we want the heather pinks and purples and some interest 
So I'm not really doing very well of not talking to you and getting to where I'm going. I've just taken another couple of shots looking down over there because I had a big carpet of heather in front of me. And I just want to show you this before I carry on. Look at it. This is what you come to the Peak District for at the right time of year. All this beautiful, beautiful pink heather. And I normally miss this. I'm normally the one at home watching the videos like you probably are thinking, oh, I must go and see that. It's too late because we've already put the videos out and it's normally a week or two after we've got them and you've missed it. And that's normally me. I'm suddenly thinking, oh, look, Nigel Dampson's out in the heather. Oh, look, Mr. Heaton's out in the heather. Oh, look, Stainy Pants has been out in the heather. Ginger's got a nice shot of the heather. And yet, what have I got? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. So uh, I'm out. And oh, my God, it's beautiful. I've got um, Miss Sterling playing in my ear with a violin. But this is absolutely gorgeous it really is so i just couldn't help but stop and talk to you again and just mention it and show you it to you it's it really is beautiful what a fantastic country we live in eh yes 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 i'm back again couldn't resist getting a picture down here Again, the beauty is I've got it on my belt and I can see it. So I'm going to spin you around and just explain roughly what I was doing. Um, what I wanted, I'm just going to zoom in a little bit. So I've taken something similar to this. So I've got this nice little S of a, an image coming through. So you've got this nice, beautiful line of the heather, which I lined up with this bottom corner coming through. It goes through the bridge, under the bridge, back up there. And then it may even follow your eye all the way back up to the top of Winnet, uh, Winnet, uh, Wynn Hill. Sorry. And you just, with well, the light was on this just now, so you've got all these beautiful pinks in the bottom. You've got the nice deep, rich colour of the water, quite deep blue because I've got a polarizer on. And you've got these beautiful fluffy clouds and all this was in light as well. So you've got all these beautiful pinks up the top. You see the lights just come out now down the bottom. Absolutely fantastic image with some beautiful focal point just on the bridge because your eye cannot help but look at the arches in the bridge. Absolutely stunning shot. So expect that one to probably be in my calendar next year and talking of calendars talking of calendars my 2023 calendar out is out it is on pre-order uh, go onto the website paul compton pd photography forward slash store or just go onto the website you can either drop me a line and pay and buy one direct to me which i would prefer or you can go through the paypal link and of course then i have to pay my fees to paypal which is fair enough because you know they are doing a job um, but yeah, the more I can actually make, <laughs> the more I could do next year. Um, but yeah, stunning. What a fa oh, this is a beautiful walk this morning. Really enjoying it, taking my time. I am on my own, but I've got some music. Lindsay's, you know, Lindsay Sterling's there in the background playing her violin. And I can't believe that I've got into listening to violin, which is so good because she does heavy rhythm stuff that I like, futuristic fantasy sort of stuff. And she also does some nice soft stuff which means I can just mellow a little bit and I'm not thinking bad thoughts when I've got that stuff in my ears and it really does help. Um, I'm going up to that ridge and then up and round right over the top, over the back over there. So that's the plan. Look at the way the sun is shining down here now on this. Gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous morning.
coaching horses. This is uh, his big rock formations known as the coaching horses. I'm about, I'm not far off of, I don't know, nearly halfway. Not, well, not quite halfway because I haven't got to the sort cellar, but on the actual route, you know, I've, I've got to go back, back down to the crossroads and head down that way um, on the way back. Um, but it'd be nice to get a couple of shots of this with the sun on it and some heather in it. Uh, it's, it's hard because there's a big pathway that leads in. Maybe I can sort of tuck myself down a little bit and just use the heather as a, as a base. Uh, maybe this path might work. It just depends. You know, I've got to stand left or right to make it work as a leading line. But wait for a bit of sun to catch this gorgeous colour and uh, get another quick shot of this. And then we'll keep heading that direction. Woo, keep on moving. Here comes the sun now. hints and tips of my worldly goods I can give to you. Um, I was looking at a shot, let's have a look. We were looking at a shot sort of here and it wasn't quite working because your leading line sort of headed straight through. So by moving over the path, just a few feet, I then end up with this beautiful leading line coming from the left, you know, the right hand bottom corner. And I've even got this one here. So you've got this triangle, which is actually pointing it towards them rocks. So again, all I've done is move across the pathway from here or to here, from here, and you can see the difference that that makes in that shot by getting that beautiful arrowhead pointing you into the image. So uh, hints and tips every day for you. Always hints and tips. There's always a few. How amazing. This place never bores me. It really doesn't. It's so beautiful. And to be able to stand up on these rocks and to view the countryside, miles and miles and miles of countryside, this is starting to come into the time of the year where photography is at its best. We've got beautiful masses of purple heather everywhere. We've got the rich greens, which will now start dying off and we've just got the colors that are going to turn gradually from greens to autumn browns this is the time of year we really want to start thinking about photography and getting out and about it is really chilly that wind i'm not gonna lie it's really chilly my back's all right nice and warm with my bag on my back but yeah you don't want to be standing in that for too long um i've just had some lunch so i've got that bit sorted i'm just gonna make my way back across these rocks and keep moving really, just keep going forwards. Uh, the sort cellar's a long way off. Actually, no, it's not. I think the sort cellar's on that next section. The trig point's the one I've just seen up there. I'm not going up to the trig point. Um, 
mind you it's a really easy walk in all fairness once i started off this morning it was quite hard but since then once you get on this level bit it's just a gentle walk a few walkers come past i took a picture just now um there's a couple young couple come past and she obviously want, walked out onto the rock so her boyfriend can take a picture of her so i sort of used the opportunity to grab her in the shot i think that little person stood on the top of that rock really helped i know she wasn't looking at me she was looking at him but it does give you that sense of scale doesn't it and then she had a little bright yellow top on which was quite nice because it sort of just pops out a little bit on the image so yeah i think that was quite good i'm going to carry on to the sort cellar definitely definitely because that was my plan i want to try and stick to my plan today i'm going to go and get that get some heather around the sort cellar i hope and uh, if, if you're not sure what the sort cellar is it's a, a name of a rock formation it looks like a sort pot um a sort cellar funny enough and that's what's named for beautiful rock formations up here really really nice you know they're, they're sticking out all over the place so if you've not been up here before please come up for a walk if you're in the peak district um if you google the coach and horses in the peak district or the sort cellar it will be on google maps you can find it and there's loads of paths that lead up here and i'm going to go back down on a different path that i've never been to before so i'll show you a little bit of that as well right stop rambling keep walking and i'll see you at the sort cellar one side on the thirds and I want you to let me know which one you prefer best 